Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you. Hopefully, let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's, it's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this video is going to be highlighting uh, more atrocities that the Edomites have committed against the Israelites, you see. So, today we're going to be going into the California genocide, man. <clears throat> and it shows you how Esau has gotten his land. You see? It shows you exactly how this land was gotten so, or, or acquired, or stolen. That's a better word. So, this is Nahum chapter 3 verse 1. It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey the part of not. You see, and this is the bloody city, man. Babylon the Great, aka America, is that bloody city because all the land that these that these Edomites inhabit right now, they got it by rape, robbery, and murder, man, by bloodshed. You see? So it says, Woe to this place, man. That's the main reason this place is going to be destroyed for what? For what you people have done unto the Israelites in this land. Let's get one. Let's get a. Uh, that's that. That's numbers thirty five, if I'm mistaken, and thirty six. Yup, numbers thirty five and thirty six. Uh, numbers thirty five and thirty three says what? So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You hear that? So this land can only be cleansed by the blood of him that shed it. And how, and how was this land acquired? Or who acquired this land? The so-called white people who are the Edomites, man. And they did it by way of violence. You see? These are things they don't teach you in the history books, man. How they got the land. They love to say that Christopher Columbus just discovered this land there was no uh, when there was people on the land. How do you how do you think you come to to live in the states that you live in on the best parts of the land? Because you killed the previous inhabitants of the land off, man. So the scriptures tell you that this land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, except the blood of them that shed it be shed in it. You see? That's what has to happen. Let's get one more. Let's get Habakkuk chapter two. In 12, it says what? Woe to him, woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. And that's how all the land of America was established, man. That's how all the land of America was built up by blood, man. You see? By the blood of the Israelites shed by the Edomites, the so-called white race. And let's go into this word woe real quick. Woe goes into what? Great sorrow or distress. And we go into the synonyms, man. Misery, sorrow, distress. Let's get to some of the good ones, man. Affliction, suffering, harsh, hardship, pain, agony, grief, anguish, torment. To who? To them that's, that build up a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity, which are who? The Edomites, man. So you have a punishment coming. For what you have done unto the Israelites. So let's get to the article. This is uh, from Wikipedia. And it reads the California genocide man. It says what? The California genocide consisted of actions taken by the United. Listen to this. The, the California genocide consisted of actions taken by United States government agents. And private citizens in the 19th century. Following the American conquest of California from Mexico, 
that resulted in the dramatic decrease of the indigenous population of California, which would be Israelites. You see? Mainly the tribe of Gad. You see that? So the, the, the U.S. government had a part to play in this as well. As regular, as as well as you peon Edomites, man. You everyday six-pack drinking Edomites. You see? You all had a hand in this, man. This is how you're able to live on all the land that you live on. You see? From Florida all the way up to fucking Maine, from, from, from Maine all the way to goddamn Alaska, man. From Alaska all the way down to California. From California all the way down to Texas, all the land in between, you have that land because you stole it by rape, robbery, and murder, man. You see? And the U.S. government had government had a big part to play in it. So it goes on to say, between 1849 and 1870, it is con conservatively estimated that American colonists, which were Edomites, murdered I love that word. They murdered. They didn't kill them. They murdered because it was premeditated. You see? Christopher Columbus, he came over here with the intention to murder because he knew who was over here. You see? So it says what? That American colonists, Edomites, murdered some 9,500 California natives, which are Israelites. You see? And acts of enslavement, Kidnapping, rape, child separation, and displacement were widespread, encouraged, carried out by and tolerated by state authorities and militias. You see, this ain't your risk, Jake. You see what these people have done unto you? Part of the conquest of California and the California gold rush. You see, there was murder in you, man. Cold blood for your land and for the resources. These are the true terrorists of the earth, man. And that 9,500 estimated number, it's, it's way higher than that, man. You see, I can guarantee you it's in the hundreds of thousands. Just in that state of, just in, in the state of California alone, man. You see, these are the things that you Edomites have done. To, 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 to gain this land, man. You got it by bloodshed. You see? And we just read what it said in Numbers 35 and 33. That the land cannot be cleansed by the, uh, of the blood that is shed there in it, but by the blood of him that shed it. So these Edomites, their blood had to be spilled upon this land for this land to be cleansed, man. You see? And it goes on. You can go uh, read it for yourself, but it, it goes on. You see? Let's read this. It says, California statehood and genocide. In the latter half of the 19th century, California state and federal authorities incited, aided, and financed miners, settler, settlers, ranchers, and people's militias to enslave, kidnap, murder, and exterminate a major population of slot. A major proportion of displaced Native Americans, which are Gadites, Israelites, man. The latter were sometimes contemptu contemptuously referred to as diggers for their practice of digging up roots to eat. Many of the same policies of violence were used here against the indigenous population as the United States had done throughout its territory. All throughout the country this was, doing, this was happening, man. So this is a lot of blood that you Edomites have to pay for. You see? Because you Edomites love to say, oh, that was our forefathers. But guess what? By the, the, these atrocious acts, you are profiting off of it right now. That's why you're able to live on the land that you live on. You see? That's why you're able to have the house on the property that you have, man. Because that land was stolen from our brothers, man, by way of the sword, by way of bloodshed, man. You see, it says many of the same policies of violence were used here against the indigenous population as the United States had done throughout its territory. So this was happening all throughout the country, man. 
in every state because all this land belonged belong to the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. But look who was populating it now, man. The damn Edomite. How did he get it? By way of rape, robbery, and murder, man. This is what you damn devils do. What else to say? Simultaneously, oh, simultaneous to the ongoing extermination, reports of the decimation of Native Americans were made to the rest of the United States and internationally. You see? So they were pointing to the world, man. Simultaneous to the ongoing extermination, reports of the decimation of Native Americans were made to the rest of the United States and internationally. You see? This is what you this is what you've done, man. Dan was bragging about it. So the, so the world knows how you got this land, man. The California Act. For the California Act for the Government and Protection of Indians was enacted in 1850, amended in 1860, repealed in 1863. This law provided for uh, a print, apprenticing or indenturing Indian children to whites, um, which is slavery, you see, and also punished vagrant Indians by hiring them out to the highest bidder. Wow, you see that? You see? You shall be sold into your enemies as bond men and bond women. Not just the so-called Negroes fall up under that. The so-called Native Americans and Hispanics fall up under that as too, under that as well. Why? Because they are Israelites. You see? It says what? Hiring them out to the highest bidder at a public auction. If the Indian cannot provide sufficient bond or bail, this legalized, this legalized a form of slavery in California. Look at that. Look at that. The so-called Native Americans and Hispanics are Israelites, man, as we have been telling you. You see? White settlers or Edomite settlers took 24,000 to 27,000 California Native American uh, Native Americans as forced laborers. They were forced into labor. What is that? Slavery. Including 4,000 to 7,000 children. You see? You see this? Why are they suffering this? Because they're Israelites. That's why. So I, did, I didn't even read all this, but that's the spirit. It says what? A notable early eyewitness testimony and account. The Indians of California, 1864. is from John Ross Brown, customs officials, custom official and inspector of Indian affairs on the Pacific coast. He systematically described the fraud, corruption, land theft, slavery, rape, and massacre perpetuated or perpetrated on a substantial portion of the aboriginal population. This was confirmed by a contemporary superintendent, Dorcas J. Spencer, a out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. You see? So you damn, you devils are guilty, guilty, man. You devils are guilty. We're reading it right here, man. You see? By one, I didn't mean to read all this, but hey, let's get it. And they got a list of, uh, of recorded massacres, man. Damn. But it goes on to say, one by one estimate, at least 4,500 California Indians or Israelites were killed between 1849 and 1870. Contemporary historian Benjamin Madley had documented the numbers of California Indians killed between 1846 and 1873. He estimates that during that this period, at least 9,492 to 16,092 California Indians or Israelites were killed by nine Indians. Most of the deaths took place in what he defined as more than 370 massacres. Defined as the intentional killing of five or more disarmed combatants or largely unarmed non-combatants, including women, children, and prisoners, whether in the context of battle or otherwise. So they're basically killing unarmed Israelites, man. You see? You see this? This is what you devils have done, man. This is how you got this land. So you have a judgment coming upon you, man. It says what? The Native American activists... 
and former Sonoma State University professor Ed Castillo, Castillo was asked by the state of California's Native American Heritage Commission to write the state's official history of the genocide. He wrote that the well-armed death squads combined with the widespread random, ki random killing of Indians by individual miners, which were who? Peon Edomites, your everyday Edomite that's still walking around here free. You see? Your nine to five Edomites, they were, they, were, they were killing you as well. It says resulted in the death of 100,000 Israelites. In 1848 and 1849. You see that? This is what you devils have done, man. This is what this is what we're telling you each and every week, each and every day. That you are going to pay for the atrocities that you have committed against our people, man. The rape, robbery, and murder as we're reading, man. All the land theft. You see? These are things that you have to pay for. So let's get it, man. Let's go back. Let's get Micah 2 and 1. <laughs> It says what? Woe to, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And that's exactly what you see, man. The elites gave the order to just massacre all the elites. So be talking about the, uh, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, man. You see? They gave the go-ahead to, to, to commit these atrocities, man. You see? Because they had the power to do so. And what else did they do? Verse 2. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppressed a man in his house, even a man in, in his heritage. And that's exactly what you devils have done. You see? You came over and so-called discovered the land just so you can commit land theft, man. You see, in the process of that, you had to destroy the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans from off the land so you could have it. You see, this is why you have the best, the, 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 the best of the best here in America, man. You see? That's why you're able to live in that big ass mansion that you have. You see? Because of the blood that was shed to, to, to steal the land, man. This is what you've done. And you're going to pay for it. That's why I tell you in verse 3: therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Behold, against this family, which are the Edomites, the ones who have committed these atrocities, do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. So you're not going to escape unpunished, man. You are going to be punished for what you have done unto the Israelites, man. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You still have to pay for what you have done unto all of us, man. You see? The most I ain't forget this, man. The most I ain't forget is just let this go. You devils are going to pay. All of you. Even you ones who, who are talking about, well, that was my forefathers. Well, guess what? You're benefiting off of what your forefathers have done. You see, the, the reason you're able to have these big ass cities with these skyscrapers all over the place is because you stole the land. You see? The reason you're able to live in these high rises, these mansions out in the uh, outer parts of the city, man. You're able to live out there because you have I mean, because your forefathers stole the land. You're benefiting off of what your forefathers have done, man. You see? If you own property, you had acres of land. What do you think What, what do you think it came from? You think it just fell out of thin air? Weren't people here before? You see? You damn devils came here? So how did you get the land, man? By rape, robbery, and murder. So you're going to pay. You see? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. So you're going to pay for what your forefathers have done. Why is that? Because you are your forefathers back in the reincarnation. You see? Benefiting from what you've done in the past, man. You see? You devils are going to pay. Let's get this. Let's get Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Verse 16, it says what? Thou art filled with shame for glory. And that's exactly what's happening, man. You had the whole world thinking that this place was uh, the greatest place on the earth. But it's coming to be found out. But that, that everything that you have, you got it by wicked means, man. Everything that you got, you got it by wicked means, man. Evil dealings. You see, that, that shame is covering your glory, man. 
You see, uh, Babylon the Great is the, is the bloodiest country on the planet Earth, man. It says what? Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. You hear that? That cup is talking about punishment from the Heavenly Father. You see? The same cup that the Israelites had to drink out of, that's why you were able to do what you did unto us? Is it, That's the same cup that you're going to drink out of when it's all said and done, man. You see? Why? Because you're not going to go unpunished. You devils are going to receive a judgment for what you've done. And it says what? And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. All this dirt that's coming up on how you acquired these lands, how you got what you have. All that's being brought to the forefront and show you that and showing the world that you people are nothing but murderers, man. And you got Joe Biden got the nerve to call uh, Vladimir P Putin a killer, man. Well, what, what about all the uh, the so-called Native Americans and Hispanics that you've murdered on, to, to acquire this land, man? All the so-called Negroes that you murdered when you stole them from the west coast of Africa, man. You see, all that blood you have to pay for. All of it, man. And we ain't going to let you forget it. We're going to continue to throw it up in your face like, through the spirit and probably how about you shot, man. You see? This is Jeremiah 49 and 12. It says what? For thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunk. And talking about the Israelites, man. You see? We were set up to be the rulers of the planet Earth, man. But we had to go through that process of uh, drinking of that cup for prophecy's sake. But the most I didn't create us for that. So we drunk of the cup. And it says what? And art thou he that shall all together go unpunished? So the most I made his chosen people, the people that he loves, drink of the cup, and the people that he hates, which are you eat them, you think you're, you're not going to be punished? You see? You think you're going to go away scot-free and just ride off into the sunset? What does the most I say? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Meaning what? Everything that you've done unto us is going to come back upon your head, man. You see? So the scriptures tell you, be not deceived, the most I is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, man. You devils are going to pay. You are going to pay, man. Ezekiel 35, and we'll start at uh, 2. It says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, which are you Edomites, and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, <laughs> Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. I will stretch out my hand against thee, and, the, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And why are your cities going to be laid waste? Because that's the judgment coming from the Heavenly Father because of what you've done unto his people. Just like we read in number 35, man. You see? The only blood, the only blood that can cleanse this land is the blood of them that shed blood upon this land. So that's why your city is going to be made desolate, man. That's why the Most High is going to rain thermonuclear fire upon this place, man. That's why the Most High is about to uh, put a lot of you damn Edomites to death here in America. For what you have done unto his people. Verse 5 says what? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. You see? You never let up, man. You kept that perpetual hatred uh, forever man you see but it's to your own demise man now the most High is completely justified in destroying you damn Edomites man and there is nothing you can say or do to get up out of it verse 6 says what therefore as I live saith Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood even blood shall pursue thee and that's exactly what's coming for you damn devils why because, hey, you have to receive of your punishment, your judgment. You see? You're not finna get away, man. Amos 1 and 11, it says what? Thus saith Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. For three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. You see? You got these devils coming up to the camp. So I, I don't think I should be punished. This and well, it don't matter what you think, man. The only thing that matters is what the Most High has to say. You see? And according to the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you devils are going to go on punishment. You see? He's not going to turn your punishment away. You're going to receive a punishment for every 
drop of Israelite blood that was shed upon this land. For every drop of Israelite blood that was shed during the Roman Empire and during the Greek Empire, man. You're going to pay for all that blood, man. You're going to pay for everything that you have done unto our people. And, that, and that's what you're being reserved for. You're being reserved so the world can see the greatest judgment, you see, that has ever been bought upon the planet Earth. So Amos 1 and 11. Thus saith Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah for three transgressions of Edom and for four. I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. And we just read about that, talking about the uh, California genocide, man. You see? You pursued your brother with the sword, man. The so-called Native Americans and Hispanics were your brothers, man. We came from the same uh, seed, man. But now that covenant has been broken. You see? You gonna get it, man. <laughs> it's, it's a wrap for you damn devils, man. There's nothing you can say to get up out of this. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says what? Seeing it is a righteous thing with the Most High Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And that's exactly what's about to happen, man. You see? You devils are about to be repaid for what you have done unto the Israelites. You see, you're about to be repaid for all the blood that you've shed, man. For all this land that you for all this land that you have acquired by wicked means, man, you're going to pay for it. You see? And it's a righteous thing for us to want that, man. Because you have troubled us, man. You have completely destroyed our people. All manner of atrocities you have committed against our people that you haven't paid for still. You see? But the time is coming where you devils are going to pay, man. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is Obadiah 1. And 10, it says what? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. And that's exactly what's happening, man. You see? All this dirt is being bought back up and it's being pushed in your face. All the slavery, all the rape, robbery, and murder, man. All the genocides, all the massacres, man. You see? All the land theft. You see all the wicked laws and legislation that you're putting in place to keep our people oppressed, man. All these drugs that you're pumping into our neighborhoods, man. All these, these random ass guns, all this military, uh, uh, military weapons showing up in our neighborhoods so we can kill each other. All that's being brought to the light to show the world that you these people are the damn devil, man. That these people are the Edomites. You see, shame is covering you damn devils, man. It says what? Obadiah 1 and 15. For thy violence against Je uh, thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shall be cut off forever. That's what it's going to be eventually. You damn devils are going to be cut off for what you have done unto our people. You see, because you had no pity. You didn't give a damn. You still don't give a damn. You still walk around in pride and arrogance as if you got this land by righteous means. And we just read an article. You see that show that you did it in California and you was doing that shit all throughout this country, man. So for that, you are going to pay. You are going to be cut off forever. You see, the, the one day we are going to wake up on the planet Earth and there will be no so-called white people. There will be no Edomites upon the planet Earth eventually, man. And why is that going to happen? For what you have done unto the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Going down to 15, it says what? For the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. You hear that? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. You hear that? That's what's coming upon you, Edomites. What you have done unto the Israelites is what's going to be done unto you. You see, and it tells you that in Psalms 137. We'll start at seven. It says what? Remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom and the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. And we just saw what you was doing unto our people, man. And it's, and it's, and it's unlimited accounts that we can go into of what you were doing unto our people. So as you have done unto us, we're going to do unto you. You see? 
So it says what? Psalms 137 and 8. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. So what you've done unto us is what we're going to do unto you. But we're going to do it in righteousness, man. Verse 9 says what? Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Why? Because you were murdering our children. You see? And cold blood, man, defenseless children, you were destroying them. So guess what? We're going to take your little ones and dash them against the stones, man. You see, we're going to take your little ones and, and, and destroy them just like you've done ours. Happy shall he be that a hey, happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou hast served us. You've done it unto us, and we're gonna do it unto you. And guess what? It's gonna be in complete righteousness, man. You see, the most high is gonna rejoice with us as we destroy you damn devils. You see? Ezekiel 25 and 12, it says what? Thus saith Yahweh Ba Shimi Hawashah, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking violence, like <clears throat> Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged themselves upon them. You see, you, you've greatly offended Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for what you have done unto his people, man. The Most High is offended at you damn Edomites, man. You see? And what does it say? Verse, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Taman and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. And this is what's coming upon you, Edomite, man. The Most High is about to cut everything, having anything to do with the Edomite off from the earth. Man, woman, and child eventually, man. Verse 14 says what? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. You see that? You see, this hasn't happened yet. This is a future prophecy, man. This is what we're waiting to happen in, in, in the future, man. So, like it. So, yeah, Ezekiel 25 and 14, it says what? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So, the Most High is going to give us, the Most High is going to give you devils over into our hands, man. You see, to do whatsoever we feel like doing unto you. And we will have no remorse, man. We will show no mercy, just like you showed no mercy to us. Like I always say, go look at this nigga track record, man. Go look at Esau's track record and see what he's done unto us. And you can get a glimpse or an idea of what we're going to be doing unto him in the kingdom of heaven, man. So we ain't going to be out here raping your, we ain't going to be out here raping your wives in front of you. We're not going to, we're not going to be tying no man to no damn tree stump and raping them in front of, uh, in front of, for, for everybody to see. You see, we ain't going to be out here committing no damn pedophilia as you have done unto our people, man. You see, everything we're going to do, we're going to do it in righteousness. We're going to do it in the we're going to do it in the bounds of the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. We're going to do it the right way. But we will still have no mercy and we'll show you no fucking pity. We don't care about your cries. We don't care about your, your, your begging for your life. We don't give a damn about none of that, man, because you didn't care when you was doing it unto us, man. You see? This is righteous recompense right here. This is this is true reparations, man. You see? No fucking amount of money that they can give us is, is gonna is, is gonna amend, you see, or suffice for what they've done unto us, man. The only thing that's gonna suffice, the only thing that's gonna uh uh uh, uh you know be uh, uh, worth having is having them in captivity to to do to do our will unto them, man. You see? And that's what the Most High is about to give us, man. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom <clears throat> according to mine anger and according to my fury. You see that? The Most High is going to pour his spirit upon us like never before, man. And we're going to destroy you. And we're going to destroy you, Edomites, according to the Most High's anger and, to the, uh, and according to the Most High's fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You hear that? And this is what's coming upon you, Edomites, for what you have done unto the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the true 12 tribes of Israel, man. This is what's coming unto you, man. And this was proclaimed by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. We ain't making this up. The most I said this, man. You see, we're reading it. I, hey, 
We're reading out of the same Bible that you people have been reading out of for years, man. Speaking the, the, the words, but we're, we're giving you the true understanding of it. So this is Obadiah 1 and 18, and I'll wrap it up on this, man. It says what? And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. And that's all 12 tribes on your ass. You see that? And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh by Shimei Hawashai have spoken it. And eventually that's what it's going to be, man. We're going to eradicate you damn devils from the earth. Just like you attempted to do to us, we're going to do it unto you and we're going to be successful because that's the most I will. There will not be any Edomites or so-called white people roaming this earth after, that, after you served that 1,000 years of hardcore slavery in the kingdom of heaven, man. This is what's coming. This is true reparations. And this is the only way. You see. This can be atoned for. The land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shared therein. But by the blood of him that shed it. So you Edomites have a lot to pay for man. Thus save the Bible. Thus save Yahweh Bashim Yahweh So with that I'm going to give all praise. All honor. All glory to. Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. Let me get one more. Let me get one more. Revelation 13 and 9 it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. We just read in that article that you were putting our people, in, you were putting the northern kingdom in slavery. You did the same thing to the southern kingdom. So guess what your ass going? So what? Guess what's going to happen to your ass? Your ass is going into captivity, man. All of you damn devils. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. We just read how you acquired this land. Rape, robbery, and murder, man, by way of the sword. So we're gonna put you damn devils to death by way of the sword, man. You, hey, the Edomite man, the Edomite woman, and the Edomite child. You see, it's going to taste the sword of the Israelites, man. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And we're patiently waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to bring this to pass, man. Because we can't wait to get our hands on you fucking devils, man. And it's going to come and you are going to pay. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh With that, I'm going to say, Shalom. And the Bible, ball.